Hello and welcome. In this video I'll show you how to configure Captive Portal for user ID on Palo Alto Firewall. To configure Captive Portal there are some prerequisites uh, and you need to configure uh, some parameters and one of that is you need to enable user authentication in zone configuration part. So let's go to zones trust because users are coming from there and you need to enable enable user authentication here after that uh, you need to go to interface management and configure the profile interface management profile attached to internal interface and we need to allow response pages because a captive portal is actually a response page. Okay, that's done. Next, we need to go to device, user identification, and here in captive portal settings, we need to configure server we choose server certificate. Authentication profile, we use uh, the one which we have created previously. It's a local authentication, so only users are uh, created locally. But you can use any user authentication profile which you have created here. Okay, so now we'll use, uh, we can use two modes, transparent or redirect. So but I, here I'll show uh, redirect integration. So uh, all the users will be redirected to 192.168.2.1, which is internal interface of the firewall. And that's all here. And after that, we need to go to policies. And here in captive portal policy, we'll configure a rule which will um, action this captive portal. So let's say captive portal 1 source from traffic from zone trust to a zone untrust service URL category service HTTP we can specify which URL category but by default we'll leave it as it is any and uh, actions by default there is no captive portal um, but we can configure two uh, other options, web form and browser challenge. So browser challenge is actually NTL authentication, which is uh, working for uh, Windows systems, but not for Unix. So here we'll use web form. And commit the change. Okay, when it's done, we'll open another tab and try to go to any other website on the internet. That works only for HTTP. Google.com.au And now you can see user identification portal, which is username test1, password test1. As you can see, okay, so now we are here at Google. Okay, so if we want to check uh, user authentication database, so we can go to uh, Palo Alto Firewall uh, console and enter. Okay, sorry. So it's a show user show user IP user mapping all, and now we can you can see that the user um, test one is registered on one ninety two one sixty eight dot two dot one hundred. So that's all. Thank you for your time, and all the best with follow up the firewalls.